Hi, today I am bringing you over a hundred journal prompts that you can use to manifest abundance into your life. My name is Kath Kyle and I help people to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So these journal writing prompts will help you to write your way to wealth by changing your mindset and attracting more abundance into your life. So if you've ever kept a work diary in the past, you probably have an idea of what kind of content it documents, but are you familiar with journal prompts for abundance? If you aren't, then this is a good opportunity to finally learn about this. A lot of journaling involves just writing about your life and events that have happened in your day. But it's a bit different when we are talking about writing for business intentions to bring wealth and abundance into our business. Journaling to attract abundance is a practice that has got the same kind of effect as chanting mantras and writing down affirmation. When you use these kind of journal prompts, you can easily weave a string of thought together in which you can reflect and act upon. Um, these prompts will help you tackle the topic of abundance, wealth and money and it will help your writing match your intentions and you'll soon be motivated to realise what you have written. So to get help you get started, here are over a hundred plus journal prompts that I've collected for you to ponder on and write about. How I suggest you use these is skim the list and choose one to three that provoke an emotional response in you, whether that's good or bad, and then write them in your journal and then answer the questions and just see how you feel about the answers. Writing about good emotions is always a good idea as it attracts more success to you. However, writing about negative thoughts can also be worthwhile as long as it helps you to identify and work on releasing and replacing the negative thoughts with more positive ones. So that's the intention of what we're doing with these journal prompts. So let's get going. I'm going to read all of the journal prompts to you and you can decide if there are any that really provoke some kind of emotion in you, whether it's positive or negative. They're probably the ones that you should start with. Are you ready? One, how do you define being abundant? Two, what does it mean to you to have an abundant life? Three, what is your earliest memory of money? Four, which aspects of your life are defining your abundance? Five, when did you first start making money? Six, what are the beliefs that you abide by regarding money? Seven, how does your upbringing affect your idea of prosperity? Eight, reflect on your current experiences with money. What lessons do they teach you? Nine, reflect on your past financial decisions. What do they teach you about abundance? 10, what lessons did you learn from past experiences with money? 11, money can't buy happiness. Do you agree with this? Why and why not? 12. How are you handling your finances so far? 13. Which form of abundance do you prefer to have? 14. What are your favourite abundance affirmations? 15. Where do you allot your earnings? 16. Which qualities do you associate abundance with? 17. Which things signify an abundant life to you? 18. Which values do you uphold regarding money matters? 19. What word can best describe an abundance life for you? 20. Do you believe you are worthy of a prosperous life? 21. Which specific things do you consider as part of living an abundant life? 22. Do you see yourself ready to embrace a wealthy lifestyle? 23. How certain are you that you are going to receive abundance in your life? 24. How would you feel if you were born into a life of utter abundance? 25. How would you feel if you were given a chance to live abundantly? 26. Which things hold value in your quest for an abundant life? 27. How do you discuss money matters with your partner? 28. 
in which ways can you attain an abundant life? 29. Which past experiences gave you a valuable lesson on money smarts? 30. If you were suddenly given $10 million to spend in 24 hours, what would you do with it? 31. Which things would you invest your money in to maintain your financial abundance? 32. How has your mindset changed when it comes to attracting abundance? 33. How do you attract wealth in all areas of your life? 34. Do you believe you are worthy of the money you are trying to attract? 35. Do you see yourself deserving of an abundant life? 36. Where would you spend your money to gain a prosperous life? 37. Is success synonymous to abundance? Why and why not? Do you think aiming for an abundant life is a good or a bad thing? That was number 38. 39. Does feeling abundant in your life spark your happiness? 40. How do you feel about other people living an abundant life? 41. Who inspires you when it comes to living your life abundantly? 42. What is your own definition of abundance? 43. When have you last experienced being abundant? 44. Did you have a past experience you can count as a period of prosperity? 45. When have you felt the most abundant so far? 46. When was the last time that you felt prosperous? 47. In your opinion, what amounts to an abundant life? 48. How does being abundant in all aspects of life bring you joy? 49. What motivates you to aim for an abundant life? 50. Why do you see yourself worthy of a wealthy life? 51. What gives you an impression of a prosperous life? 52. In your own opinion, how does money play a role in becoming abundant in life? 53. Do you think you're inadequate in other things aside from money? 54. When have you felt being at your most abundant? 55. What does abundance mean to you money-wise? 56. What do you think are the steps towards achieving a prosperous life? 57. What would you do if you were given a chance to live abundantly for one year? 58. What is your biggest asset that you believe will make you abundant in life? 59. Why do you think abundance co-happens with financial independence? 60. What makes you wish you had an abundant life? 61. Are you feeling sufficient in your life? 62. Do you find contentment in what you do? 63. How much is a good amount to start feeling wealthy? 64. How much do you think you can be considered as sufficient to live a life of abundance? 65. Where do you feel the most abundant in your life? 66. How do you keep yourself focused on attaining an abundant life? 67. Reflect on the life stories of personalities who used to have a little in life. 68. How do affirmations help you in your pursuit of prosperity? 69. How can you work towards resolving the hindrance to your pursuit of an abundant life? 70. Do you believe that money makes you wealthy? Why? 71. Do you plan to help other people achieve abundance as well? 72. Do you think you're capable of realising your goal of being prosperous? 73. What qualities make you deserving to receive great abundance? 74. Do you feel that you're entitled to enjoy a period of abundance? 75. Since when did you start feeling abundant? 76. Are there any obstacles you need to hurdle to attain a prosperous life? 77. Why do you think people want to live an abundant life? 78. 
Why does it seem important to you that you lead an abundant life? 79. Why are you motivated to achieve abundance in your life? 80. Why are you driven to attain a life of great prosperity? 81. Does spending money equate to living in abundance? 82. How do you com compare your progress with someone who is current currently living an abundant life? 83. How would you like abundance to manifest in your life? 84. Can you handle the pressures in your pursuit of a wealthy life? Do you talk about wealth with your family and friends? Why do you do that or why don't you? 86. What kind of emotion does abundance bring you? 87. In your opinion, how, how do successful people deal with prosperity? 88. In your own opinion, is there such thing as too much abundance? 89. Do you think financial literacy is required to attain an abundant life? 90. Are you satisfied with the kind of abundance you're enjoying so far? Do you feel like abundance is something that you need to work hard to obtain? 92. Why is having an abundant life your target goal? 93. How much time have you set yourself until you achieve an abundant life? 94. How do you handle the problems that are hindering you from being an abundant? 95. Is feeling abundant in all aspects a lifetime goal for you? 96. When you think of abundance, does it have to be something tangible? Why? 97. What comes to your mind first when you think about an abundant life? 98. What images does your mind conjure up at the sound of the word abundance? 99. What can you say about other people who want to live as wealthy as you aspire to be? 100. Do you plan on sharing your abundance with friends and family? Why? 101. Where do you see yourself in the abundance scale? 102. Do you wish to maintain the prosperity that you're enjoying today? 103. How do you describe abundance without the context of material things? 104. Do you, see, do you set a balance between abundance and sufficiency? 105. Do you see yourself achieving a prosperous, a prosperous life soon? 106. Which things do you believe could help maintain your abundant life? 107. Do you feel like expanding your horizons is the key to achieving great abundance? 108. Is there anything that prevents you from feeling abundant about your current life? 109. Do you consider your present situation to be a good training ground towards a life of prosperity? 110. How do you work your way towards achieving an abundant life? 111. Is your pursuit of abundance being guided by certain principles? What are they? In manifesting our intentions, it's necessary to write down our thoughts to create the energy we need for attracting abundance into our lives. Of course, you'll have to couple it with relevant actions to transform it into a reality. The important thing is that you have a platform for reflecting on your own thoughts and experiences as they guide your goals through the aid of journal prompts for abundance. And if you like this, I encourage you to subscribe and take care. See you soon.